Hey guys, I'm Emily Powers and today we're going to be painting a dolphin. You can see it up in the corner there. Um, it should be an easier painting. It's going to be done in acrylics and I'm going to show you step by step how to do it so that you won't miss anything. Um, I think doing it step by step um, makes it a little easier um, to follow along and helps you learn better. So. Uh, the canvas panel, I'm using a square um, canvas panel, it's a 10 by 10 and it is, let's see, Fix Smith is the brand. It's different than the brand I've been using with the 9 by 12 um, but um, I think it's going to be pretty good. I feel like it's uh, maybe a little sturdier than the other one, um, but I don't know. I. I'm not really professional on the brands and stuff like that, but they're cheaper quality. Um, the paints are titanium white, phthalo blue, ultramarine blue, burnt sienna, and burnt umber. Um, and I have Mars black, but I, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it, so I didn't actually put it out. But I have it to the side. If you fast forward to the end and it's on here, then that means I used it. So <laughs> um, I'm going to be using a one inch bright um, for the, that's going to be the biggest brush for like the sky. And I might fill in the water the first time with it. I'm not sure. I might just start with the details. But um, this is a 3 8 inch filbert. Um, a bristle fan uh, and a round brush. So uh, the background I already painted with ultramarine blue and I just like put some dabs on there, um, took a damp sponge and kind of you know scrubbed it on. So you don't when you do like a you know one color you just kind of coat it. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're gonna go over it anyway. So that's what I did for the main, you know, prepping part. And then I already drew in the uh, waterline. The waterline on here is like past the fourth mark, but I put it kind of on the fourth. So if you like split it, split the canvas in half and split it in half again, I put it right on the fourth is where I put the horizon line. So I just moved it down a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to start by getting my one inch bright and starting with the sky. So I'm going to get the white and then I'm going to get a little tiny bit of the phthalo blue because that phthalo blue like tints it a lot. So. We want it pretty light, and then a little bit of the ultramarine blue. A little bit more of the ultramarine blue. I think I'm going to want it more of a purpley, possibly. I'm not sure. I might just kind of do like a middle in between. Let's see. Yeah, that. I think that's good. So I'm just going to put that on there. Just mix the two blues together and white. Um, I don't think I actually said what I used to uh, mark the horizon line. It was a scryball pencil, which is water soluble. So you could use like a watercolor pencil or something that will come off um, when activated with water. Um, if you use like graphite, it won't come up as easily. You might have a line that just stays there. <laughs> so I've actually never used a graphite pencil for acrylic painting. So I really don't know exactly what it would look like, but I know that this works, so I'm not changing anything. I'm going to 
it a little bit more of the ultramarine blue and it's going to be a little darker. I'm just going to try to make sure that I get the horizon straight. Of course, at this point, if we get it, you know, a little off, we can go back with, um, we can go back when you do the water and straighten it up. So you see it's not really quite straight, but we can go back. I'm just getting the ultramarine blue and darkening the bottom slightly. Okay, and now I'm going to try, while it's still wet, to uh, paint in these like mountains back here. So I'm going to get some phthalo blue and burnt sienna. Burnt sienna will just help it to, um, it'll neutralize it a little bit. And I'm going to add some white and put it right in here. I'm going to get some of that darker. So the further back the hills are, the more um, the lighter they're going to be. So the it's going to get darker as it gets closer. So these like big ones, they're going to be darker, and it's also going to get smaller as it goes farther. So the smaller ones that are further away are going to be a lighter color and then as you get closer they're going to get a little darker. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to darken it up just a little bit more my brush out from that and that's really gonna be the sky it's not you know super difficult but um, I'm gonna try to make this an easier painting I mean the hardest part is probably gonna be the dolphin so um, and even that isn't gonna be that hard so Th that part was like super super easy so now I think I'm gonna actually wash this brush out and I'm going to get the 3 8 inch uh, filbert and uh, you always um, unless it unless you're wanting your brush to start dry like with a mop brush or like a stiff bristle brush or something you want to um, Unless you want it dry, you want to dip your brush in the water and then kind of wipe it off on your paper towel so it's damp. You want some moisture in it to begin with. So, let me think. Um, I think I'm going to get the white and mix these two blues together. the darker color in the water. I'm just going to mix the two together. And I didn't rinse my brush out so it still has some white in it. But it's just going to be a little darker. 
didn't add any more white to it. So I'm going to start with this slider and just go up against the horizon line. Make sure that it's smooth. Or straight, I should say, not really smooth. Straight. And you could use like a ruler or you could tape down, you know, let the sky dry and tape down the sky with like painter's tape and then you could uh, do the, what am I trying to say here, you could tape it down with painter's tape and then uh, paint over and get a perfectly straight line. I don't really tend to like using rulers and tape and stuff though because if you like get it too watery it can seep up under the ruler up under the uh just can't think of anything today up under the tape and it can make it um it can make it not a straight line anymore <laughs> so it can kind of be more of a disaster for me anyway to use ruler or tape, but I think you just have to practice with it and uh, kind of learn it. I just don't do it a whole lot, so I don't really know uh, exactly. I'm not, I don't do it as well because I don't do it enough, so I just kind of do it by hand without anything. So I got a quarter inch filbert. I didn't have this out. Um, but for the back, you want it to be really small brush strokes. So I kind of, I didn't take it out, but I really should have. Um, I'm going to get some white with the color. I believe that's the color we just had. I'm just going to kind of put in some little lines while it's still wet. You want them to be small because they're way back in the distance. So the closer that we get, the bigger the waves are going to be. I try to do this kind of quick. Um, the time that I spent getting the brush out, the paint spent that time drying. So <laughs> I need to uh, hurry up before it really dries on me. Alright, and then I'll get some of the dark and I'll put some dark areas in there too. So you want like a, you know, you want dark, light, and then a middle color all in there. And if you get like too much of one color and it looks like too big of a wave for that far away, you can add, you know, like the middle color and kind of push it back. Okay, I'm going to get this middle and keep going down before it dries. Because if we wait too long, um, with acrylics, if you let them dry and then you keep going back over, it will lift and make ugly spot on your canvas where you're seeing the uh, canvas showing. And then it's harder to get... You just let it dry completely and then can keep going. But if you keep messing with it, 
it's not going to be good. <laughs> so it'll just keep lifting and the more you mess with it, the more it'll lift and it's, it's just better to just let it dry. So if we can avoid that by going fast, then that would help. So kind of in here, it's actually starting to get bigger already. So just way back there, we want it to really be small. So I'm going to get the dark. So just do the light and do the dark. Um, I would say kind of in between where you did the light. I need to get like a really, really dark because there's some really dark spots on. So making an even darker color and just by mixing the two blues that's more of the color there we go and there's some big bigger waves Okay, so I'm working my way down again. I'm gonna try to keep it the same color. Pretty much. Okay, so I get some of the lighter now. And if it's not really like wanting to, you know, go on the canvas well, you can add some water. Add water every once in a while so that it will flow better off your brush. bit more ultramarine mixture to that. And a little bit more white. Okay, I may switch back to the bigger brush now. The smaller areas are finished. Okay, so now I'm getting the quarter, in, um, three eighths inch that I was using. Ultramarine, it's a little bit more of the phthalo blue, so it's a little more green. I want it to be 
little bit more purple than it was. Okay, so now while that part's wet, I'm going to take the dark color and there's like a dark wave. kind of put some dark back here and the ones back here they're a little bit more like they're not as uh, choppy as I did them they're a little more straight across Getting some more white and kind of brushing that on. We can get some more of the dark. Alright. I'm gonna get that medium color again and put it on. I'm just going to go ahead and cover all of that. Bottom area there. Okay, so now the canvas is covered with this water. And you can go and take the two blues and then there's like a dark area over here to kind of put in some dark spots. So in here is kind of where the dolphins are going to be, right in there. Sorry about that noise, that was the fridge. It's old and makes weird noises. Okay. We get this lighter color now. And you can kind of, you know, do it up and this water is kind of, um, there's some areas it's kind of heading down, so like it's heading down over here and Right in front, it's like this is where it's the choppiest, or the um, waviest, I guess you could say. It's more straight back in here, and then up in here, it gets to where it has these hill type strokes in it.
All right, so we can't, um, we can go back and uh, darken the dark parts and lighten the light parts, but that's kind of the initial uh, initial coat, first coat. So up in here uh, on the sky, if you wanted to, you could just like take your brush, um, maybe like the smaller filbert, um, and just kind of take the white and just kind of tap in some clouds. You could have done that when it was wet, kind of streaked in some clouds, but I'm just going to leave it like that. It's pretty just with the little mountains back there and I like it just like that. So uh, I'm going to stop and blow dry it and then we can come back and put in some more details. Alright, so I blow dry it with my hair dryer a little bit and uh, down here is still a little wet but I was going to do some more up here so it doesn't matter. Um, just make sure if you use a hair dryer um, to speed it up that you um, put it on like the cool setting and put it like six to eight inches away because if it's too hot um, the paint will start cracking so you don't want that to happen. Or at least that's what happened when I started. So, And I used a slightly different, it was tempera paint that I started with. And that cracks even easier because it's cheaper, I guess, is the reason. But I, it would probably do the same thing. So just be careful, don't do it on the hot setting. Okay, so I'm taking some white, and it's still got a little bit of that blue in it. And so now you can see I'm doing um, some little brush strokes back here in the distance. I'm going to take the two blues and put a little bit back there and some darker. If you get any slightly too big or a little too much, you can go back to that middle color. Okay, so now I'm going to take this middle and just go over some few spots to take that like white light color. And go over a few of those dark areas that got a little too big for me. Okay. So now, if we get a little closer, you can see how that's a lot different than what we had earlier. Um, 
got a little bit more waves in. It was kind of just one color almost before, even though we did have a little bit of other colors. Okay, now I'm going to get the middle. Okay, and then I'm going to get the dark again. And make sure I keep some of those dark spots. As I move down, I'm just going to keep doing this, making it just a little bigger every time. I'm going to get some of this middle color and uh, it's kind of some of those white spots, a little less bright, just kind of skimming over them a little bit. They're kind of popping out too much to me. Okay, so the light and then dark. out switch to the um, other filbert the 3 8 inch and do this dark, dark, dark area. So just kind of, we're now getting to the part where I'm putting um, specifically dark right here in this like swooping area and then back here and then here we're just kind of going to do some like waves and interesting things in this foreground. I'm running out of my light white. It's not good. Alright, let me uh, get more white. 
white real quick. Okay, and I also need a little bit more ultramarine blue. I'm trying to get a smooth blend. It's kind of drying now, so. Okay, so that's probably okay for the uh, water there. All right, so I think that's pretty good. Um, we can kind of work on the rest now, like the dolphin and the ripple, uh, dark from him in the water, but I'm just going to rinse this out and dry it, let it dry before I move on. Okay, so this is dry now, and... I think before I show you how to draw it, I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to just going to mix up some of the color that I'm going to use for him. So I'm going to get the ultramarine blue and the burnt umber, my palette knife. You can use your brush, but I'm just going to mix it up this way. And it may be a little bit more the blue and the brown but mixing these two together will make like a gray may need some more of this so I'm just mixing um, we're gonna this is gonna be the dark um, dark color of him and then we're also going to have um, we're going to lighten it up but that's going to be the main color so now I'll show you how to draw it and I'm going to zoom in well first let me show you kind of when it zoomed out where I'm going to put it so it's going to be kind of in this area right in here so this is the halfway mark. Um, that's kind of where the fin's going to be, kind of, sort of. So I'm not going exactly by the picture where I'm putting the dolphin, but we're going to kind of put him right in the middle. So I'm going to zoom in and move everything over some. Make sure you can see it. Alright, so I'm taking an, my black Scrabble pencil this time, and so I'm going to make him, um, you can start by kind of 
putting a curve. So make sure your uh, paint's dry before you do this part. And this is another water soluble pencil. So it'll come off if I need to uh, rub it. So I'm just kind of making this arc shape first and then it kind of comes down for the head and there's this little little nose that comes out like that and then it kind of comes out just a little bit and this is where his fin is And then it's gonna keep going. It kind of goes up, so it slightly curves up. And then right about in here, so if like maybe the third mark, he starts starts going back down towards the tail. Okay, and then his fin goes up right in the middle and points and then there's it's not really pointed it's kind of curved and then it comes back down like that and this he doesn't have that much of a bump on his head it's a little more flat Flattened. And then his tail, it's kind of sideways, so you're just seeing like this. Um, it tapers more, it's not that fat, but you'll see better when I paint it in. And there's going to be all these splash marks that kind of come up from right in there. So there's kind of the basic dolphin shape. It may come up a little more in there. I have made this part come out a little bit too much, but we'll paint it in and you can see, see how we do that. So first I'm going to take my round brush and just wet it and wipe it off on the paper towel. And we're going to take that dark mixture that we just made with the ultramarine blue and burnt umber. And first, I'm just going to paint in the whole shape with this. Get the shape the way I want it. And then we can kind of go back and add some other details after. We can do extra coloring on him. So you see it's not really completely um, covering the blue at the moment. If you have a thicker paint, it might would cover the first time, but mine is a little thinner. So probably won't cover the first coat, but
and you can like turn your canvas and stuff. I've seen people do that, but I tend to like doing it this way just because I, I think I can see it a little bit better. When I turn it, it I can't see what it's going to look like the right way, so it makes, I don't know, it makes me nervous. So, but you could do it whatever way is easier for you. And you can add a little bit of water. Just dip your brush in the water a little bit if you need it to kind of go on smoother. Maybe easier to do this with a smaller brush. I'm gonna rinse that off so I don't have any color and then I'll go and kind of pull some of that color off. So that it can have more of a pointed end. And if we need to, we can take some of the ultramarine blue and white and some of the phthalo blue, the color that we had and kind of like that out It's kind of blending with the pencil line that I had, so because um, I didn't bring the dolphin all the way to the pencil line, so we can go back over this later and do it again so that it doesn't look like it blended with anything. So once we get the pencil line off, um, we can go back over that. Okay, so now while we wait for the dolphin to kind of dry, I'm going to rinse my brush out and we'll do some of these ripples that are in the water. So I'm going to get the dark color we did for the dolphin. I'm going to get some phthalo blue with it and a little bit of burnt sienna. It's going to make it a dark blue. Might just add like a little speck of white just to lighten it, just barely. And I'm going to take that and there's like this Interesting ripple that goes on under him. It doesn't have to be perfect, just kind of getting this water type effect just by scribbling back and forth 
you can see it's making like like a little it kind of goes pretty far so probably can't see this anymore can you sorry about that so I'm just kind of pulling and make these little water ripples so just back and forth and then there's one that's like doesn't have to be perfect but down all right and then we can get some lighter color um, we can get the white and ultramarine blue and just kind of add some light in between between some of these. Alright. So I'm going to get more of the phthalo blue with that dark color that we had with the dolphin again. And just So, and there's actually, if you add just a little bit more white, there's some that's kind of this dark back on the other side a little bit. All right, that. Okay. And I'm going to rinse that brush out. And this needs to dry because the dolphin is still wet, so I'm going to have to dry it and we can finish him in a minute. Alright, so it's dry now and I hope nobody thinks that this color is black because I said at the beginning that I may use black, so if you go to the end then you'll be able to see if it's black because <laughs> it's not black. <laughs> But um, we'll just, let's see, let me zoom in a little bit more on him again. All right, so we're gonna take the white and the uh, ultramarine blue first to get this water. Sorry about that noise, it's the fridge again. Um, just to get this. put some of this color in some of the other dark areas so that it doesn't look like it's just right over there.
right, that's good. So, we want to get the dark color that we use for the dolphin. And we're going to put some, well, actually, before I paint him in, we're going to take a little bit of water on my rag and just tap this um, pencil off a little bit. Because I don't want the pencil to uh, mess him up. I'll have to go back later and uh, fix it more, but it's good for now. We got we got some of it off. All right, so he's got some dark here on his head and his nose, and then he's got some dark back here on his tail. And we're gonna take some white with that color. And just lighten it a little bit. So it's more of a gray. We'll put that on him over here. And you can kind of take some of the dark and brush it in there with it. going to it's kind of some dark here okay and there's light under his belly under his chin Get that dark back. All right. Okay, and then we're going to get that dark. Try to make sure you don't have any white in your brush and get that on the fin. Just kind of blend it just a little bit. Okay, and then we're going to add a little bit more white to the gray. And put that up in here and try to blend with it. Get that light, put it under the belly. And blend that in. And then that, there's like some dark, that's right, right in here. Okay. And we get a little bit of light under here on the lower half of his nose and his head. Brighten that up a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to get some the ultramarine blue and white, maybe a little bit of the phthalo blue, and it's going to be a very light color, and we're going to put it under his belly, it's like a water reflection, so he's got blue under him, and I'm going to get a little bit of a darker mixture of the blue ultramarine blue and put it in under there and right in there maybe a little bit kind of in the middle there and then we're going to get the dark 
color again, put it there, and then the light color above the fin. It actually gets even lighter than that on the fin area. Pretty light. Okay. All right, so then we're gonna rinse that, all those other like light colors out of the brush and want to get the really dark. Just put some right up under yeah, let's get the lighter color first and kind of mix that in so that this darker will show up. So now we're going to get the dark and right in here. I'm gonna get some white, kind of put it over the eye area. A little bit of white and kind of wrap it around. And then I'm gonna get that dark and kind of Blend it out. Okay, and then some more white with the gray right along the back. Try to kind of blend with it before it dries. Okay. And then we're going to get the white and do a dot right there on the back. And kind of spread out the sides just a little bit. Like that. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now we'll zoom out just slightly, okay, and we're going to do the water reflection on the back. So we're going to zoom out to show you my palette first. So I'm going to get take the fan brush and get the white. And some of these blues. And I'm going to take the water and thin it out. You could do this with the round and just kind of flick with it, but the fan brush will be nice too. So I'm thinning it, thin it, thinning it out a little bit. I'm going to start right here and flick up. Even start from him. I tap some. Okay, and then I'm going to take the two blues, a little darker, and just tap near the bottom, and then kind of tap up in with a few dots. Okay, 
and then I'm gonna get the white and thin it out. You don't want it too thin and too watery, but you want it enough that it'll kind of flow easily. Okay, I'm gonna tap some down here. dark again. Kind of put a little bit too many splashes in there. Okay. And then what we can do I splashed everywhere with my water. Okay. So I'm rinsing that out. and taking this watered down color and I'm testing it. What I'm gonna do is water it down to like milk consistency. And I'm gonna hold it, hold it firm in one hand and tap hard with the other. Okay, so I'm gonna go right here. Okay, and while it's wet. I'm going to take my wet rag and just tap off any areas I didn't want it. So I'm going to have it right in here on the dolphin. I don't want it very far. So, not too hard. It's pretty easy to uh, get that. You can kind of take some of the white and, oops, it's a little too wet there. Take some of the white and tap down here. I keep getting too much water on there. It is in doubt. <laughs> All right, so that's, it's really neat. So I'm gonna zoom in, let you see it. It's a really cool dolphin there. It's And it's easy too, so I hope y'all try it. Um, yeah, so that was, it was really easy and fun. Um, the, schedule that I have for July is right here so next week is the owl um, and then you're gonna do an on um, beach pass and the Eiffel Tower so um, the owls going to be a little harder but this one's gonna be another easy painting so if you want to see any of these um, you can click on my channel name Emily Powers art or the little kitty icon um, to see my uh, paintings from my channel. So I hope you like this video and subscribe. Um, this one, if you saw that, um, that I would show the two different paintings. So they're both finished now. This is the one that we did in the video. And if you saw that video, you know we had a little bit of an accident because I didn't have any of the flowers put in and then the video stopped and I didn't know it. So I kept going, filled in two of these blue flowers 
I had so much done and I had gone quite a while and I realized that my it wasn't filming that whole time. So I started on this one. I got to the point <laughs> that the video stopped, showed how to do what I did, and then switched back. So you can kind of see the differences between the two. So, I can, so you can kind of see every time you do a painting, it's going to be a little different. So that video is on my channel. So if you want to look at that one, you can do that and I hope you try it. So um, I hope you have a good day and thanks for watching. Bye.